Simple Child Math in 10 Minutes by Dr. Siddiqui, based on the kindergarten math standards, includes list of materials, math vocabulary, and activities. Hi, I'm Dr. Siddiqui, and I bring you lessons how to teach your child math in 10 minutes. I've been in the field of education since last 20 years. The educational changes that were brought up due to COVID-19 was something that we as educators were not prepared for. My head's off to all the educators and school district that successfully transitioned from teaching in classroom into virtual or e-teaching. As learning at home is becoming a new norm, parents are lost too. They have no idea how to help their child or support them in the learning, sustain the academic level or get them ready for next school year. For this purpose, I'm bringing you lessons that you can do quickly and interactively with your child without struggling. Today, we will discuss how to develop number sense in young children and include counting practices in daily chores around the house. This is the first video for developing number sense. They will be following videos to do activities with your child based on kindergarten math standards. Each video will provide you with activities and strategies to learn and master one math standard. So look out for the following videos. Materials to have in the house for math practices. Many parents have asked me, what do they need to have to prepare for the math lessons? The answer is easy. You can use about any or everything in the house. For counting purposes, you can use any kind of counters that could be coins, sugar cubes, marbles, buttons, cubes, blocks, candy, etc. It's a good idea to have dices, rulers, spinners, shapes, could be 3D or 2D shapes, measuring tapes and clocks in the house because you can build concept on concept. Once your child is competent with counting numbers, you can do other activities based on these. Dry erase boards always a good idea to have around because you can erase them and you can reuse them. Have a stack of dry erase markers and erasers in the house. Have two, one for you and one for your child. Number flashcards are easy to get from any store. If you don't want to buy them, you can make them on your own. These number cards can be a basis for many, many activities and many fun games that you can do with your child. Number, charts, tables, chart paper, poster boards are always good to have around the house too. Developing number sense. So let's talk about number sense. Let's talk about why number sense is important. I firmly believe that every child needs to construct an understanding of number sense. Number sense helps in developing the foundation needed for simple to complex math practices. It helps in developing fluidity, flexibility with numbers. It also helps children understand what numbers are, what do they mean, how do they work together and alone, and how they connect to real life. Number sense helps with mental math that is so important and also for flexible thinking. It can create relationship with other numbers and things. It assesses how reasonable your answer can be. It can help in estimating and predicting the patterns. Kids can be more successful because they will have the understanding of the concepts behind the algorithm. So let's talk about how we can develop number sense. There are many ways that will help you with developing number sense. Some of the things that are very basic are oral counting, counting object with one-on-one -on -one correspondence, finger songs, remember the songs about five little ducks, five little monkeys, that also help with one-on-one -on -one correspondence. Visual numbers, we'll talk about it later. Chart with number pockets and tables. The chart that you see here is very easy to make and you can make it on a simple poster board or a piece of paper. Arranging things in order from big to small, more or less, and then noticing patterns. Like if you have blocks, or even if you're counting with m and have two yellow and one orange, then repeat the pattern, two yellow, one orange, and then change it. See if your child notices how they are differently arranged. It's very important to see the patterns because patterns are everywhere in nature. The concept of one more or one less is a very neat concept. 
It builds on the practices for addition and subtraction. If your child has two M&Ms, give them one more and ask them, what is two and one more? It will be an equation like two plus one. Post visual numbers everywhere, big and small. Label things with numbers on cards. Use magnetic numbers on the door of your dishwasher or refrigerator so your child can move them, stack them, place them in ascending order or descending order. Use blocks to stack up. And if your child is competent with counting, you can even do other practices such as divide the counters and break blocks in twos, threes, and fours, and equal parts. And then it kind of pre-teaches them the concept of multiplication and division. When you're counting with your child every day to build automaticity with numbers, keep going higher every time. If you think your child is competent counting from one to five, go up to 10. As they build more and more competency with counting, count in twos and fives and tens. Make it a routine to count in twos, fives and tens. The child will be very quick to learn that. Relationship between single or group is also an important concept. So you can say there's one candy or there's a group of candy. So what are some of the things that you can, you can do around the house? As we said, counting is one basic thing that you can do around the house. Parents are busy and they do not have time to prepare and plan lessons every day. One simple thing that you can do is to develop number sense in ordinary household chores and daily activities around the house. This way, even a younger child as old as three years of age could start developing number sense. Other things that you can do are um, arranging the shoes in the house and then asking the child who has the biggest pair of shoes, who has the smallest pair of shoes. You can all stand together. And then as a family, look for the tallest person in the family and the shortest person in the family. You can look at the furniture and count how many chairs are in the house, how many tables, how many legs on tables? How many legs on chairs? And if the kids are outside or you are watching outside from a window, you can start counting the car outside, park on the street or passing your street. You can also look at the trees. How many trees are there? Building houses. The list is unlimited. When you're doing chores around the house, there are many things you can do. I will explain them later. But some of the things could be setting up tables, counting number of clothes in and out of the dryer, Clothes hanging in the closet, counting in twos, in pairs, especially socks, noticing the buttons and the patterns and the design on the clothes. I'm sure that my presentation is just a starting point for you to develop a sense of incorporating math sense in your child's daily life. And once you will understand the rationale of including math related activity, you will even brainstorm some more ideas on your own. Good luck. Remember, you can do it. Thank you for